Hey guys, what's up? So a subscriber of mine was asking me um, why would you get you know a MacBook, which is right here? Why would you get the MacBook over you know a Windows-based laptop that has you know an i7 16 gig RAM when the MacBook has an i5 8 gig RAM? And um, he just wanted to know you know what why do people buy MacBooks versus you know a Windows-based PC? And I wanted to go over that more in depth because. It was such a good question that made me wonder about, you know, why do people get the MacBook? Why do people get Windows-based laptops? And there's like a fundamental divide and I want to cover that in detail. So let's take a look. All right, so let's go over the main reasons why somebody would get a MacBook, even though the specifications of this MacBook are going to be a lot less than, let's say, a Windows-based PC. Let's go over all the reasons. Okay. So the number one reason why I believe a lot of people pick the MacBook is just the overall look and feel of the MacBook. Now, that might sound a little weird and maybe a little bit gimmicky, but um, the look is important because the look kind of represents, you know, who the person is. It's kind of like a stylish item that you get. It's, it's something that you grab because, well, you want it to represent your lifestyle and kind of the things that you, st you stand for. Another main reason why people get the MacBook is because of how smooth and silky the trackpad experience is when you're, tr when you're tracking with two fingers. So take a look at how smooth this is and how precise the movements are. So when I move the finger slowly, it moves slowly. If I move it fast, it'll jump quickly as well. So the gestures on OS X are really, really advanced and they're really, really developed to work really, really well. Um, either the, the two finger scrolling is not there or it's exceptionally choppy and not smooth. Um, Windows 10 is probably gonna tackle this a little bit more and I hear that Windows 10 is gonna kind of bridge the gap, uh, but so far I haven't seen it quite yet and I'd like to actually do a video on that so we can take a look at it. Put your finger right here and you can open it up with one finger. Pretty easy stuff, you just open it up and it opens up. Um, basically the way it works is the screen it's not that heavy so it's it, you can actually open it up with ease on these ones it's a little bit harder uh, as you can see there it didn't really work um, you basically have to use two hands to open up and I know it's a little thing and I know it's really weird when you look at it you think this is really stupid why is he talking about these things well the thing is all of these little things add up and they do make a difference in the long run. Um, with tons of great little features here and there, you begin to save time. You begin to save lots and lots of time and you become used to them. So uh, before I even had a MacBook, I didn't know how good these features were because I was like, well, you know, I didn't know they existed. So I was like, well, I had a PC, my PC has better specs, whatever, that's the end all be all. But this is not the case. Take a look at some more other awesome features I wanna show you guys. The best charger I have ever seen. And here's why. So when you're plugging it into the computer, it is so easy that you don't even have to think about doing it. Like, it just plugs right in and you're good to go. Another great thing is there's actually an LED notifier. So when you plug it in, little LED turns on and shows that you're actually charging. Green at first and then it turns um, orange to basically tell you that yes, it is charging. It can't really be broken very easily. It's all metal construction inside there. It's extremely sturdy. And I've heard so many people's ports breaking in the past. With this setup, you just, you don't have as many problems. Straps that come out here, these little clips, um, and you can actually just tie your cord around these. It's actually quite useful. Um, I wish more manufacturers did that. Um, I have noticed a lot of Windows manufacturers will add like straps. Um, but they they don't have like a, a uniform square block Which actually saves a lot of space. Uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about on the Lenovo Thingy over here, which you can clip on and Look, you're all good. This folds away and Look at this. Look at this solution. It's just it's just better It makes you wonder why other manufacturers don't do that Here's what they have um, Basically you have your power supply block you have a ton of cords, um, but you don't really have that good of a way to manage them. Yes, this cord unplugs, which so does the uh, 
the uh, Apple one here. Um, with the Apple one, you can actually get custom cords that will actually connect into here and extend this even further, um, which is technically what this is here. But with this, if you want this to be shorter, you don't really have an extra cord you can get that'll be shorter. They don't really include that. Um, with the MacBooks, they're included, and so you can customize the way you want to charge your device. Can't really do that so much with the Lenovo chargers. The only real thing that you have here for cord management are, are these little straps here, which, I mean, they'll, they'll work. I mean, you can tie this in like a massive, you know, knot, and I mean, there you go. And you can, you can probably organize it a little better, make it nicer, and then use these little straps here. I mean, so you can do it, you know, it's not like it's the biggest deal in the world, but again, it's the little things that add up. Um, so the charger itself, it's not magnetic like the MagSafe one I showed you earlier. Um, here, it's basically gonna be, basically gonna be one of these round, round plugs. And uh, these are really prone to breaking. So many of them have broken in the past. Um, I've, I've had so many friends and had issues with that. Um, this particular one has actually worked pretty good. Um, this, this particular Lenovo has actually taken a pretty good beating um, and it still works pretty well, but just the connectors, um, they've kind of stayed the same on most manufacturers here. Uh, but as you can see on the Apple one, it is a superior experience. It's the dominant operating system. I mean, that's something we can't really avoid. All, most of the games run on here. Most of the top enterprise software and systems run on here. Because it's more readily accessible. You know, you can get you can get a two hundred dollar, three hundred dollar, four hundred or five hundred dollar, any type of like price range you want. You can find yourself a Windows based tablet, desktop, or laptop. There's just more Windows products out there. It's kind of like, you know, Android versus iOS. You know, iPhone, the top, the modern iPhone, there's only like two or three of them or whatever, right? But on Android, there's hundreds, there's thousands of different phones. And so that's why Android is dominant. And that's why Android is king right now. Um, but with Windows, it's kind of the same thing. All the servers and enterprise solutions use Windows. A lot of the schools use Windows. Um, when it comes to individuals and useful built-in features, I feel like the MacBook series just, it has a more developed OS that's more user-friendly and more useful. Now, it's not always the most user-friendly because um, if you don't know how to do something, you just won't know how to do it. You have to look it up. There's some things that are a little bit more intuitive, but not all things. When it comes to upgradability, people are always asking me, you know, can you upgrade the RAM? Can you up upgrade the hard drive? on the MacBooks, the, 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 real, the real answer to that is usually no, unless you're willing to go dig deep into your MacBook and, and try to figure that out, but it's really kind of a hassle. Apple doesn't really want you doing it. The laptops have thin form factors, so a lot of times the RAM is soldered in. Sometimes you can upgrade the SSD, but again, not recommended. Um, if you want maximum versatility in your system, if you want complete control, and if you want to be able to actually upgrade um, the hardware and the specs, you can on a Windows-based PC. So the specs by default, like we talked about earlier, they're gonna be better. Here, my brother, he wanted to put a new SSD in, pop this thing open, put a new SSD in here, and dude, it was fast. And he had a normal HDD in here, with the hard disk and the spinning disk and all that. Man, that after he upgraded it, it was like a brand new computer. You know, you won't get that on Apple. You, you can't really, upgrade the upgradability just sort of isn't there now uh, do apple laptops last longer i believe they do um, and that's kind of why you sort of don't need the upgradability but but users still want upgradability it's kind i'd say it's about 50 50 about 50 percent of them kind of want it about 50 percent don't really care don't really want to bother and your average consumer doesn't want to deal with with those kinds of things but um if the battery goes bad replace it the hard drive goes bad, replace it. You want new, faster RAM, pop it in there. Not a problem. Um, so when it comes to versatility of your laptop, a Windows-based laptop, you just, you can't compare it. So there you have it. I went on a pretty long rant about the key differences about Windows-based PCs and how the Windows-based PC is more upgradable, more versatile, um, and get a pretty good value off of it, and how the, Win and how the MacBooks 
are basically designed for people that want the carefree experience, people who want the luxurious, premium feel uh, laptop with slightly more user-centric features. Um, again, but the, window, the Windows-based laptop, you, you can't go wrong with the upgradability. You know, you wanted a new SSD, popped it in there, it just works. You know, if, if you have problems with this, well, you gotta go to Apple and they're gonna work on it for you. And maybe that's a good thing. Maybe you don't want to deal with that, but maybe you do. So um, both are not, one's not necessarily better than the other, um, but uh, if you want simplicity and if you want good support systems, I do recommend the MacBooks and Apple-based products. But if you want control over your own products and if you don't want to deal with Apple, then you should get yourself that i7 and the 16 gig RAM and, and just the better, the better overall spec'd out PC because a lot of times it's gonna be more upgradable, it's gonna be better. But a thing I want you guys to keep in mind um, that the kind of model that companies are going towards, the kind of model that works, is this type of model. And that's the model of you know sleek, non really upgradable, because it makes companies more money and consumers kind of don't sort of care as much as they used to about upgradability. Not that upgradability is bad. Um, I wish they kept it. I wish they kept it in these models here, but um, this is the, what we're seeing. New HP laptops, new Dell laptops. They're more sleek. They're not upgradable. So this is kind of the future we kind of have to look forward to. However, um, even though this is sleek and sexy and it works great, you're gonna see Windows-based laptops they are gonna be sleek, sexy, work great, but they're gonna be at a fraction of the cost. The only thing the Windows-based laptops aren't gonna have is Apple support. Go to an Apple store, get your stuff fixed for free, and you know, and perhaps maybe the reliability, but other than that, that. All right, guys, thank you for watching. So this video is, it, it was not the most comprehensive video. I didn't cover all of the MacBook features. I didn't cover all the, why you should get a Windows-based computer, but it was just kind of a general thing that I wanted to show you guys because I, I know a lot of you had questions out there. Why would somebody get the Windows-based PC? You know, you know or, or, or why would they get the MacBook if the MacBook has way worse respects? Well, you, you pay more for the MacBook for the support systems and for the ease of use, simplicity, and look and feel. Um, but for the, for the Windows, you, you pay for raw performance, upgradability, and the freedom to kind of do what you want on your own device. Um, so I'm glad you guys watched this video. If you have questions, please leave your questions here because, again, this channel is about you guys. I'm trying to develop this. I'm trying to get kind of a hyper connectivity where I, I can kind of hear you guys' thoughts and kind of help you guys out more. So thank you for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.